Good, happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your 9 p.m. news and weather. Let's get started. First up, Franklin police searching for man reportedly posing as officer. The Franklin Police Department is looking for a man suspected of imposing as a police officer. Police responded to the area of New Hampton Road just after 10.30 p.m. Friday night after a woman said she reported she had been pulled over by a man imposterating a police officer, officials said. The victim told police that the man was wearing a black or blue uniform and was driving a mid to full-sized pickup truck with blue lights on the roof, police said. Franklin police are looking for a clean-shaven white male with short hair. He is described as being 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing between 170 pounds to 180 pounds, officials said. Anyone with information is asked to call the Franklin Police Department at 603-934-2535. Firefighters combat brush fire and hook set. More than 50 first responders are trying to get a brush fire in Hooksett under control. But the firefighters are being called off Saturday night due to observed conditions and will be returning in the morning. The Red Cross, which is offering assistance to the crews, will continue to provide support Sunday. The fire broke out along Hackett Hill Road. There is no word on injuries or what caused the fire. Rally for Recovery held in Manchester. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. You the most award winning trucks on the road today. Drive the longest lasting full size pickup, the 2016 Silverado Double Cab LT four wheel drive. Lease today for only $2.59 per month with no money down. Make it McMulkin. An organization called Hope for New Hampshire Recovery held the event here in Manchester. It's aimed at helping break down the walls of recovery. Through stories, music, and conversation, recovery specialists from around the state came together in Manchester to help those who are suffering from addiction. If you are a family uh, that has somebody affected by addiction and you want to learn about what you can do to help them, this is a great place to come. Hope for New Hampshire Recovery hosts the event each year to help make recovery possible. There'll be providers uh, throughout the state, people in recovery, mutual aid groups here, um, vendors, music, and some great stories. Holly Sakala is in charge of programming at the center, which opened up in 2015. She's also in recovery and takes pride in helping others. We really do just dig in and help people, guide them through, and support them through a tough time. And the organization is growing. Now there are centers in Manchester, Concord, Derry, Claremont, Newport, and Berlin. People know that hope is a resource. They know the name, they know the brand, and they know they can go there to look for answers. So we're, we're tickled to death that we've been able to develop that for the community and the state. While the event helps to make the connection to recovery services, it's also a time for people to celebrate being in recovery. I bought into the life of recovery and I found a life beyond my wildest dreams. RJ Veed travels all across the country sharing his story and inspiring others to be survivors. I get to travel the country and I speak to thousands of people and uh, pretty much spread the message of hope and the stigma of what an addict is. Um, 
There are human beings. They uh, they have compassion in heart. They just don't know it yet. And now, Rodney Lavoy is joining him on that mission to spread a message of hope. He lost his sister in 2011. If I can help one family out there to not go through what my family went through, then it's a blessing. This event is part of National Recovery Month. Other events just like it are being held all across the country to celebrate recovery and hope. Reporting in Manchester, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Russia says Syrian rummage force targeted by U.S.-led coalition airstrikes. The U.S. military says it has halted airstrikes over Russia af over Syria after Russian. Defense military accused the U.S.-led coalition of carrying out a strike that hit Syrian government soldiers, killing 62 and injuring 100. At CBC Gala, Obama jokingly addresses birther controversy. Let's take a listen to this video from CNN. Getting more from your car insurance with DriveWise. It's good to be in good hands. The birther movement had its birth in Barack Obama's first presidential run when some Democrats wanted to stop him and hit on this idea that maybe he wasn't born in the United States and wasn't eligible. Hillary Clinton never embraced that story. So why do some people think that she did? Go to 2007 when a campaign aide wrote an assessment of the race where he said Barack Obama's lack of American roots could hold him back in the primary. What he was talking about was Obama's unusual childhood, living some in Hawaii, some in Indonesia, thought that might not play very well with voters. He never said Obama wasn't born in the United States. In fact, we know of one Clinton campaign worker who tried to push that story out, got immediately dumped by the campaign. So what kept the story alive? Republicans embraced it, and Donald Trump in particular. As Donald Trump started considering a run for the presidency himself, here we get to 2011, and suddenly he's showing up on TV saying, why doesn't he, Obama, show his birth certificate? He goes on to talk radio and on the internet saying, I'm starting to wonder myself whether or not he was born in this country. And in an even more pronounced way, he said, if he wasn't born in this country, which is a real possibility, then he's pulled one of the great cons in the story of politics. So you see how he's stacking up the doubt here. And then Barack Obama releases his long-form birth certificate, and everyone thinks the story is dead. It's finished. There's the proof. He was born in America. But not so fast. We move forward, and Trump starts bringing it up again. A lot of people do not think it, that birth certificate, was an authentic certificate. And then he keeps going, saying things on Twitter, for example. He jumps out there and he says, an extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. And he keeps building on it. He never lets it entirely die. Every single one of these appearances is from Donald Trump. A lot of people feel it wasn't a proper certificate. And he never stopped with this. It kept coming up, telling CNN just this year, who knows about Obama? Who knows? Who knows? Who cares right now? I have my own theory on Obama. Bottom line, every bit of this came from Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton did not start it, and he did keep it going. Those are two facts, no matter how much Trump may try to deny them. Okay, and there you go on that report. Now let's take a look at your weather. Here's a live look on radar right now. As you see on radar, we have clouds and rain showers getting ready to move into New Hampshire and we'll be arriving in for the morning. Now let's take a look at your weather on our weather system. Your weather on our weather system right now, your Wind speed peak is 7 miles per hour, average is 2, current is 1 from the south. 
Your temperature is 65 degrees. Humidity is 78%. Your dew point is 58 degrees. Your forecast is sun slash rain. And your pressure is 29.92. Now let's take a look at your next 7 day forecast. And here's a look at your next seven day forecast. And that does it for your 9 p.m. news and weather. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.